the news today. Tommy Murray, who has recovered from a bad leg injury and plays at number eight for Hearts. And at the other end of the field, Rangers number eight this afternoon is going to be Tommy McLean. And there he is, just at the edge of the penalty box. The full Rangers side is McCloy, Jardin and Matheson, Greg McKinnon and Jackson, Henderson, McLean, Steen, McDonald and Johnston. And Hearts have Cruikshank, Sneddon and Kay, Brown, Anderson and Thompson, Townsend and Murray, Ford, Winchester and Lynch. And the referee for today's game is Mr Gordon, Mr J.R.P. Gordon from Newport and Tay. And it's Rangers to kick off attacking a goal on the right. A perfect afternoon for football and an exciting game in prospect. Steen heading the ball onto the left wing, but it's immediately picked up by Hearts. Townsend has already dropped back, wearing number seven, but we'll find him in the middle of the field today, I would think. Jardin for Rangers, through to McLean. McLean back to Henderson. Rangers. Short one, Jardin to Greg, back to Jardin. Through to McLean. Out to Henderson. So, Hurt Rangers. The long one chested wide of the goal. Short corner goes to Jardin, he loses it. Townsend to Brown, back to Townsend. McLean in midfield, losing it to Murray. Brown through the centre, McKinnon at full stretch. McLean fighting for control, but been challenged by Brown. Brown winning the ball, lining up for a cross, near Winchester by the chance, and it wasn't very far away, good header. Sharing infield, picked up by McLean. Headed away by Kane, not a very good header. Steen to Jardin. Through to Johnston, who's on side. Alec McDonald racing in from the far side of the field. Henderson in support as well. A nice back here to Henderson. Back in front, there is a chance. Stopped by number four there, Brown. Backing shot from Greg. Murray coming away for Hearts. Townsend sideways, not a good pass, putting his teammates in trouble, but good recovery by Kay. And back to Kutchow. Ford getting his head to that one. Jardin McCloy drops it, here's a chance. Who's at the far post? And Hart's not really using that chance. A square ball to Winchester was on there. Easy from up here to say what Donald Ford should have done. Lobbed that one for the far post, but Murray had no chance of getting to it. There goes the corner kick. McCloy can't hold it. Still dangerous. Winchester turning it in, but well wide of the target. Two potential chances for hearts there, neither being snapped up. Townsend, Winchester, Murray, 1-0 hearts. 32 minutes gone, a picture book goal, beautifully taken by Tommy Murray. Rangers one goal down. Immediately hitting back on the left through Johnston. Johnston making ground for himself. Over it comes. And Cruikshank grabs, to, grabs it and clears. Hearts one goal up. 13 minutes to half time.
McKinnon up, trying to force the ball forward here. McDonald. Johnston from the byline, but the flag was up, indicating a goal kick. And that extraordinary scene there on the far side is, I think, Rangers outside left, Willie Johnston, who has who carried on after crossing that ball and I think fell into the crowd on the far side. A very anxious moment indeed for Rangers. But he's back on the field, nursing his left arm. So I throw to Hart. Sneddon taking it, but there goes the halftime whistle. The teams leave the field with Hearts leading by one goal to nil. So Hearts to kick off at the start of the second half, leading by one goal to nil. The goal scored in the first half by Tommy Murray. The verdict on the first half, something of a disappointment, not quite what one would expect from a Hearts Rangers match. A lot of untidy play from both sides. And just one goal scored by Hearts inside right, Tommy Murray. Hearts taking a long time to get the ball across the goal, Townsend. Winchester. Anderson. McDonald getting a second chance here, recovering quickly. Sideways to Henderson. Henderson cutting in field, going racing through there. Stopped by Kay. He finds touch away in the far side of the field, giving his teammates a breather. McKinnon taking the throw. Referee indicating a free kick there. A foul on McLean by Kay. Jardin quickly to Henderson. Henderson cutting in field. Greg up in the attack. Greg going through in open position. Ball headed down but not cleared. McLean chipping it across. <laughs> giving offside. The Rangers supporters, I think, thought he was indicating a penalty for handball. The linesman on the far side's flag is still up in the air and he's now moved, he hasn't moved, sorry, so it's a bit of confusion going on here. Murray racing through, trying to set one up for Lynch. Chance there for Andy Lynch to tie the game up by slipping it back to Murray. But it's a goal kick. Rangers still one down. 11 minutes gone in the second half. Anderson a wee bit slow to control that one. Henderson coming away. McDonald on his right. McLean on the right wing. McLean to his left foot. A deflection there, but Steen offside. The ball in, but Rangers players claiming that it had come off a Hearts player on its way through to Steen. But linesman and referee, as you can see, in complete agreement. And a free kick it is to Hearts. McKinnon down to Greg. On to Jardin. Through to Henderson. Henderson operating kick at the edge of the box. The referee being positively jostled there by Rangers players. So there is how close Rangers came to getting a penalty right on the box, right on the line. McLean chipping it forward, Johnston, and a goal kick. Matheson's there. To McDonald, McDonald trying to loft it towards the box. Headed down, Thompson with a second chance to get it away. 
Anderson out to Lynch. Lynch and Jardin having a good tussle there. Jardin doing very well to Mayers with the ball. And find McCloy. So a throw to Hearts with exactly five minutes to play. Hearts one, Rangers nil. Ford getting a break of the ball with Murray in support. Trying to find Murray. It's all over. Left foot chip shot there. From Jim Brown. After McCloy made a fine save. Donald Ford's tenacity set up the chance. And there's the happiest man in Tynecastle right in the middle of your picture. Number four, Jim Brown. Brilliant opportunist goal inside the last five minutes, making it Hearts 2, Rangers 0. Two goals in less than 60 seconds. Such a simple move. And it's Hearts 2, Rangers 1. So at the end of the day, undoubtedly a deserved victory for Hearts, who over the piece I thought were the more polished and more penetrative side. I was particularly impressed with the cool play at fullback of Roy Kay and the midfield trio of Jim Brown, Eddie Thompson and Jim Townsend again performed most creditably. And up front, the twin spearhead of Toy Murray and Donald Ford always gave the Rangers defence trouble. For Rangers, another world-class performance, I thought, from fullback Sander Jardin, who was quite immaculate, particularly in the second half. Ron McKinnon, again, a stalwart at centre-half and came very close to saving the game for Rangers later on when they were pushing hard after the equaliser. But up front, only Alec McDonald was the player who looked as if he could possibly save this game for Rangers. One of the happiest players, undoubtedly, this afternoon at Tynecastle, I think, would be heart skipper Eddie Thompson. Eddie, I wonder if there would be some sort of reaction today from your disappointment at Newcastle, but I don't think the team gave us any reaction, did they? No, the, the boss has got us a really professional outfit now, Arthur, and we never really put it after the game and that we were a bit worried, but when it came to Friday and that, the boys was back in the mood. Mm -hmm. I knew before the game we'd play well. Now, I would have think today and today's game that I've probably seen Hearts and Rangers both play a little bit better than that. Would you agree with that? Yes, I think both teams was uh, after victory. After Rangers needed a victory because they're doing very poorly in the league, and we needed a victory after the Texaco game to get mm. back in the rails again mm. to keep us pushing. I, I sensed uh, when I came here today a real mood of disappointment after the match at Newcastle. You seem, by any standards, to have been a bit unlucky to go out the Texaco Cup. Yes, I, I think we played our best game of the year down at Newcastle after. And Newcastle never looked like scoring, and the goal they did get was obviously offside. Mm -hmm. So we were very disappointed, and getting beat with penalty kicks, well, that's football, I suppose. That's something maybe you'll need to practice a bit harder. Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> now, Hearts, Hearts, by their standards, have, have obviously got off to a very good start to the season. Has there been any specific reason for this, Eddie? I wouldn't say any real reason, Arthur. We've got the players at Tynecastle, we've always had them. Mm. It was just getting them to believe in themselves. And Johnny Harvey, John Cummins and Bobby Seath have got us really believing in themselves. Mm. And Bobby Seath, uh, he wants everybody to play football, and I think that's part of the reason. Now that last five minutes here, uh, the match seemed to be petering out to a one nothing victory for us, and all of a sudden, bang, bang, two goals in two minutes. <laughs> what actually happened there? It looked as if you were coasting along quite comfortably. Yes, I think we were, got carried away when we scored the goal, Arthur. We were playing well up to the, well, I wouldn't say well by our standards, but we were winning anyway, up till we got Jim Brown's goal, and after that we sort of relaxed, and then Rangers hit us with a quick one to made it all the more excited for the crowd, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Thompson, what about, what about your, your immediate fixes? Have you, uh, you've got uh, hard games coming up? Or no, I think, well, I wouldn't, every game's hard nowadays in Scotland, but I think we've got an easier spell just now. We've got uh, Clyde at Shawfield, and we've got Airdrie here at Tynecastle, and I think we've got Air United and Morton, so mm -hmm. we're pretty confident, Arthur, we can mm -hmm. get maybe four victories. And a tough game against Morton, I would think, though. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> all <laughs> tough, Arthur. <laughs> Eddie, thanks very much for talking Thank you very much. Congratulations on a